What's up guys, it's Robson Hayashida here and today we are going to talk about how you can make profit by trading like a casino. But why do you want to trade like a casino? It's because, have you ever heard of the famous quote that says, the house always wins? Yes, that's right. So the house always wins, the casino always wins. But you may be thinking right now, oh, but I, I've been to Macau, I've been to Las Vegas a few times, I, I've been to a casino there and I played like four or five times and I won. Yes, you may win like once, you may win twice, you may win a few times, but by the end of the day, the casino always wins, okay? So if you keep playing, and playing and playing by the end of the day the casino will make most of the money all right how do they do that i want to show you how by giving you uh, an example of something that you can find at any casino is a very common game okay so if you go to a casino you can find lots of games one of them if not the most uh famous game i would say is the roulette have you ever heard of the game Roulette? So the game Roulette, okay, was made by a mathematician. This is a French word and the mathematician was also French. His name was Blaise Pascal. He made this game in the 17th century, so hundreds of years ago, okay? So it's basically what it says. So Roulette in French means a small wheel, okay? So the Roulette is basically a small wheel and you have here the center so you're going to spin the center and the roulette is going to spin so you have here okay uh lots of numbers okay so you have numbers and you have colors okay so you have numbers from like one two three four five six seven and so on okay and you have colors so you have black and you have red so you have black slots okay and you have whoops and you have red slots and you have red slots okay and so on okay all over the roulette so how do you play this game you play this game by throwing a ball okay and the ball and you spin the device okay so you spin the roulette and the ball is going to rotate okay around the roulette and eventually it's going to fall somewhere okay and it falls where the place you bet you make money and you can bet in like using various uh methods you can bet on numbers you can bet on single numbers like one or like five or like nine or you can bet on colors to make the example simple today let's let's bet on colors all right so you have on the casino okay on the on the roulette game you have 18 black slots okay 18 black slots and you have 18 red 18 red slots okay so let's say that you bet on let's say you black you bet on red okay i'm betting on red what's the chance of for you of winning this game okay so you may be thinking okay so there are the same number of red and the same number of black slots so my chance of winning is 50 percent is half 50 percent right no it's not why it's not 50 percent is because the casino manipulates the game in a way that they have a small advantage over you how do they do that? It's because not only you have black slots and red slots, but you also have green slots. So here you have one slot that is green, okay? Which is the number zero, all right? And this used to be uh, in the French, in the original French version of the game. They used to have 18 black slots, 18 red slots, and one green slot okay that was in the original version so once this game went to the states in the states the american version added one more green slot so here on the base you have another green slot 
and this green slot is the zero zero slot okay so in this game in the american version of the roulette you have 18 black slots 18 red slots and two green slots okay so you have a total of 38 slots all right so based on this what are actually the actual chances for you of winning this game okay so let's say that uh in the example that i just mentioned let's say you were going to bet on red right so if you bet on red you would have 18 chances of winning out of 38 okay not 36 it's 38 because of two green slots so that would give you okay you as the player all right you as the player that would give you a total of 37.3 percent of winning this bet okay on the other hand the casino okay the house the casino would have a chance of winning over you of not 18 but 20 okay why because it's if you bet on red the casino would have a chance of 18 black plus two green so the casino would have a chance of 18 over 38 and that would give the casino a s slight bigger chance over you of 50 2.7% okay so the chances that the casino has over you after all is we're going to subtract this amount from this amount and you have a total chance that the casino has over you an advantage okay the casino has an advantage of 5.4% over you all right and that's how they make money and you may be thinking okay so four point uh five point four percent is not that much of a, an advantage right but keep thinking that the casino does this continuously like repeatedly does it over and over again so by the end of the day they make a huge amount of money so how what does this mean to you so in other words let's say that you went to casino and you bet one us dollar okay so if you bet one us dollar okay the casino would make of course it's not for sure because nothing is for sure on trading not for sure on gambling okay so the casino would eventually have the chance of making five cents okay or or 5.4 cents okay so five cents okay so if you and your friends went to casino and spent there okay one million us dollars the casino out of one million us dollars that you guys bet on a casino okay on a, on a roulette okay the house the casino would ha eventually have made fifty four thousand us dollars okay all right so it's fifty four thousand us dollars for every one million us dollars that you bet okay so by looking at this guys what you think you should do so we should trade like a casino right and but what has actually how do we before i explain how we trade like a, a casino let's understand how we trade okay so let's say that we went to casino and we're going to bet uh on a roulette so let's say that the first time that we're going to watch the game first right so let's say the first time that we spend we got black okay And then uh, we spin it again and we got black again okay and we spin it again then we got black again 
and we spin it again. Then we got black again. Okay, four times black. So let's say that we're going to spin it again. So what do you think we're going to get? Are we going to get black or red? Some of you may think we are going to get black. Why? Because we already got black four times. So the next one is definitely black. Okay? So the next one is black. Okay? That's how the well, that's how we, we predict. Some of you may think, okay, so we already got four blacks, okay? Some of you may think like this, we already got four blacks, so the next one is too many blacks, so the next one is going to be, it must be, okay, it must be red, okay? Some of you may think the next one is red, okay? So there are two ways of looking at this. One way would be that we have a pattern, okay? It's falling pattern. So the next one is going to be black because of past evidence and looking at the past, looking at the history, okay? So remembering, so based on your memory, based on your past experience, based on the history, based on psychological effects, you may say this, the next one is black. Okay, and other sorts of people may use the same evidence that you are using, but to predict something that's completely the opposite, which would be red. So, so some people may think, okay, based on history that we already got for, based on this history, the past experience, based on psychology, we think that's too many blacks, we may get the next one, the next slot is going to be red, all right? So which one is correct? Which one is correct? And the truth is, they're both wrong. Because they're both wrong. Because the probability of the next one being black is exactly the same probability of the next one after four spins, the next one being red. And why? Because we are not the roulette. And the roulette is not us either. So we are human beings and human beings, we analyze things based on our past, based on history, based on our experience and based on our psychology. But the roulette doesn't have past. The roulette has no history. All right. So the roulette will never think about like the past data that the roulette got. Okay, the roulette would never think about that because the roulette is not a human being, all right? So what happens is, is that unless the roulette has been rigged or has been manipulated by some sort of like computer program or mechanical things or things like that, unless the roulette has been manipulated to give like different results, the roulette will always have the same probability for red and black okay so how once that we understand this then how do we as human beings how do we trade as a casino how do we do that so by the way this thing that i just explained is called the gambler's fallacy okay so it's known as the gambler's okay the gambler's fallacy, okay? So the gambler's fallacy. So let's uh, take a look at how we trade as a casino. So let's say that you have price, okay? You're looking at uh, the charts of a uh, commodity, of uh, Forex, of uh, stocks, of any financial product so you're looking at the charts and the chart doesn't the price when you look at price price never goes like this it never goes like a straight line right price doesn't do that when you look at the charts the price always goes like this price goes up and then bounces back then goes up then bounces back okay so this bounce back is called retrace, okay? Or retracement, okay? It's a retrace. And 
maybe you have like something like this, okay? So you have something like this, and then you have something like this. So it goes in waves, okay? So you have waves that the price follows, okay? So you have waves. And then it goes like something like this, and then goes something like this, okay? And then goes something like this, okay? So here, can you identify that we have bottoms? It's like a swing. So we have bottoms here. So can you identify this line, okay? And can you identify this line here, okay? So we have here, we have a pattern that we have identified. And then I drill these red lines, okay? So one question, does the price respect these lines that I drill? No, it still can go down here, right? Why? Because it doesn't matter. Like whatever you draw on the chart is just your imagination, okay? You can imagine any sorts of things you can imagine this you can imagine that so you're trying to predict we're trying to predict how price is going to move next so we draw lines we draw lines we draw patterns we draw a lot of things just so that we can understand and we can somehow predict but always remember whatever you draw on the chart is your imagination the price doesn't need to respect any lines that you drew all right so having said that okay having said that let's try to predict how price is going to change according to this chart okay so i have identified this pattern okay so i drew these lines here to make it easier to predict okay so let's say price is here okay and it started to and do something like this okay okay so how do you expect that price is going to go from here okay it's going up right yes so we expect that from here price is going to do something like this price is going to go up all right so can you promise to me that this will go up? Can you ensure 100% that this is going up? No, it can still go down. It can still do boom and fall all the way over. It can still go down, right? Anything's possible. But here, at least we have like, we have more confidence. At least at this time, we have more confidence that this probably will go up, all right? So the probability here is a little bit more than 50%, right? Following this uh, pattern that we have spotted. So how do we trade like a casino? We trade like a casino by minimizing our losses when we are wrong. So we minimize our losses when we are wrong and we maximize our profits when we are correct, okay? How do we do that? So let's say that here, uh, it, the price is about okay is about a thousand US dollars okay one thousand US dollars is the current price okay so let's say that price after let's buy this share okay let's say this is a stock so let's buy this share at 1,000 US dollars and let's expect that price will go up, all right? But let's say that we were unlucky and after that price went all the way down, okay? So, so price started to go down, okay? So where do I close my trade, okay? So we have observed that once price has broken this trend here, so we are going to close somewhere below this trend line, okay? And we are going to set our SL. SL is a stop loss, okay? We're going to set our SL to A hundred, okay? So once it broke this trend, okay? So we have a trend here. Once price broke this trend downwards, okay, and has reached 
800 US dollars, I'm going to close it. And I'm going to lose, how much did I lose? I'm going to lose 200 US dollars, okay? So minus, minus 200 US dollars. So 200 US dollars of loss, okay? Now let's say that we are going, uh, we bought here and let's say that it went into our direction okay so it started to go into our direction okay so where am i going to close i'm going to close somewhere around here right so i'm going to close it once it reaches close to this place okay so let's say i close it a little bit below or 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 or, or you actually you can even close here okay so let's say you close it just on this line okay and let's say here the price was a thousand and uh okay so 600 okay a thousand and six hundred uh let's say that here the price was a thousand and four hundred okay to make it simple, okay? A thousand and four hundred US dollars. So how much money, if I set my trade to close here, I'm going to set my TP, my take profit, okay? TP, my take profit to a thousand four hundred US dollars. How much money have I made here? I would have made, okay? So a thousand four hundred minus a thousand would be, I would have made four hundred us dollars of profit okay so basically i am minimizing my loss because i'm only losing 200 us dollars and i'm maximizing my profit because i'm making 400 okay so which means in other words what does it mean it means that for every okay for every 200 us dollars that i'm risking okay i put on risk I'm risking 200 US dollars to make 400 US dollars, okay? Which in other words, it means that for every one US dollar that I'm risking, I'm making two, okay? So this is one of the strategies. This is the, the, the way of thinking that professional traders use in order to trade so every day when you see a trader what we do is we use this series of techniques so we uh, plan a trade and we trade the plan <laughs> so you plan a trade and you play and, and you trade what you have planned okay so we use this in order to minimize so once again uh, I know this sounds kind of repetitive but once again we used all this series of uh, strategies in order to minimize our losses when we are wrong and maximize our profits when we are right and just keep repeating this again and again so thanks for watching and i see you guys on my next video bye